Hello and welcome to a My SDCCD training video. Today we're going to cover how to create your My SDCCD account. Uh, when you first apply to City Mesa or Miramar College or continue education, you should be receiving an email that looks something similar to this. Uh, this email here basically gives you two pieces of information. One, it gives you your 10 digit user ID, as you can see where I'm hovering my mouse. And the second thing is it'll have a link to the uh, create your account process here. Um, these two things are important. Uh, so if you did not receive this invitation email, uh, you may need to contact the admissions office on campus um, at City Mesa or Miramar, or you can contact the student services uh, with continued education. Uh, alternatively, you can also contact us at the help desk uh, by calling this number that I'm going to put on the screen here, 619-388-6800, uh, or you can email us at myhelp at sdccd.edu. Um, that's if you're having difficulties throughout this entire process, or if you did not receive your invitation email, uh, we'll be able to assist you um, as well. Uh, so once you do uh, get the email and you click on the link to get to the page, uh, what you want to do then is you want to go to the Create Your Account page right here. And it's gonna, it says here to begin, you've got to please enter your 10-digit user ID below. So you will take this from the email. Click on Next. Uh, if you enter it incorrectly, uh, it'll give you an error message, but if you enter it incorrectly, it'll say valid user ID. Uh, next, you want to put in your 10-digit date of birth. So that's uh, two digits for the month, two digits for the day, and then four digits for the year. And this is based upon the information you provided on your application or the information we have on file for you. Uh, same thing with your email address. This will be based upon the email address you provided to us on your college application. Uh, so once you hit next, uh, if all of that information is uh, validated, it's going to prompt you to set up your password and security questions. Uh, your password has to meet all of our password requirements. Uh, passwords cannot contain the name or user ID as part of the password. So if your name is Tom, then Tom cannot be contained in, in your password. Uh, passwords must also be at least 10 characters long and contain three of the four character types listed below. So for example, uh, your password must contain uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers, or uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and a special character. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my password now. Uh, I recommend that students uh, write this password down somewhere. I know sometimes people tend to use the password save feature, uh, but sometimes that isn't saved and carries with you, so it's always good to put down a password that you can remember, or at least write it down so you can re reference it in the future. Uh, the next thing you have to do is establish your security questions. Uh, this allows you to change your password or recover your password in the event you forgot it. Um, so you have to answer and enter in five security questions uh, when you are requested to change your password, you'll only be asked three of them. Uh, so you want to make sure that these are questions and answers that you can remember. And please note that the uh, password is case sensitive and space sensitive. So for example, if my car is a 2000 Prius, um, when I type in my answer, I have to make sure I exactly type in 2000 space Prius with a capital P. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and type in the rest of my answers here. Uh, keep in mind, these security questions and answers are just samples. Of course, yours will be depending on, upon what you choose to do so. And the other thing to keep in mind is that the uh, name, uh, the answers to your security questions uh, cannot be the same for multiple questions. So for example, if your favorite game is basketball and your favorite sport is basketball, uh, you have to choose a different answer to that security question, or you may need to pick a different security question. Uh, so once you enter in your password, making sure that you um, repeat the same password in the confirmation password box. So again, your create your password and your confirmation password, they have to be exactly the same. And you answered your five security questions and answers, go ahead and hit submit. If everything's valid, then I'll take you to step three, which is a confirmation page, letting you know that it has successfully created your account, and you can now go ahead and log in. And just to remind you, your user ID is also listed here for your reference. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this link, and it'll take me to the website. Uh, the login page is also located at my.sdccd.edu, um, and I'll take you to a login page here, in which case you'll go ahead and put in your 10-digit user ID again and type in the password that you just created. 
then go ahead and click on sign in. Uh, if successful, it'll go ahead and take you to your homepage or list the various dashboards that you may have access to. Uh, that concludes our training on how to create your MySDCCD account. Uh, again, please, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, you can contact us at the help desk at 619-388-6800, or you can email us at myhelp at sdccd.edu, or certainly you can go to the admissions office on campus and they'll be able to assist you as well. Thank you so much.